Good day, welcome to truenorthtrout.com. This is Brian Cos. We're going to be tying a version of a foam rubber mouse, the Lynch white belly mouse. It's been called. I don't. I haven't seen a a tying video on it, but I had one of our guys request this. This is for you, Bob. This one's an articulated version. Use a couple beads in between, some tiger tail, rubber legs. It's a fairly simple fly to tie, simply because it just uses uh, Magnum Rabbit strips. Any color you choose. You can go with olive, black, brown. I'm going to go with olive on this one, and some rubber legs. If you want to use speckled, the barred. Pumpkin legs, uh, crazy juicy legs, centipede legs, whatever you want to use, your choice. I'm just going to use plain old rubber legs. My hook choice, generally prefer the Gamagatsu B10 Stinger in a 2 or a 4. The fly, the hook that I'm using right now to tie this fly is a TMC 8089. I like it because it does have a large gap on the hook. What I'm going to do first is lay down a thread base using a UTC. Sorry, GSP poly gel spun, and I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the back side of this foam to lock it down. The only reason why I'm doing this is for a little bit of extra body, it gives it a little bit more floatability. I'm leaving a little bit on the tail here for a reason. Wrap it forward, don't get stuck, bring it back. It's about 9 degrees out, it's February 6th. Our rivers are locked up, I don't know if you can actually access most of them. If you can, it's kind of hard to get out. If, you're, if you can go fishing, you're lucky. Do it. Uh, we don't see anything higher than 18 degrees for the next couple weeks. Next step, we are going to tie in the tail. Grab your rabbit strip, pull some of it forward. This is going to be the length of your tail, right about there. Stroke it forward, lay it down. Try to measure out the same on your other side. Try to keep all your bunny hairs forward. I said it once before, say it again. Large, predaceous brown trout are just like a 22-year-old guy on a Friday night at Flanagan's. They're going to hit on anything that moves. If you want to put a stinger hook on there, you can, because you're looking for that initial strike. The fish isn't going to count how many legs it has. It's just going to make a, a swipe and then come back and check on it later. Uh, so right now I'm going to tie in a couple of my rubber legs. I'm just using black or brown. Plain rubber. Pop that one in. Stay in between. I'm going to run the other one up the other side, the underside. Right where I want it to be. Lock it down. I've got two pre cut pieces of foam. I'm using black and brown. This is a slightly thicker millimeter than, I want to say it's about four or five instead of the, the two or three. I'm going to put two on and I'm going to lock that down right there. Put a little bit of glue in between the two after I get this on. Get a pretty good cinch down on it, and now I'm going to 
advance my thread up the hook. Without tying down any of my rabbits. To about a quarter of an inch behind the eye of the hook. And now we're going to polymer our, our rabbit strips. This is why sometimes using a magnum or a barred magnum rabbit strips are very nice. I think a lot of the times we get a, a hit when we're mousing at night and the, the brown will just smack at it and then sit back and wait for its prey to come floating down to them. And we're so anxious for that hit that we set the hook and we strike and we miss. This seems to be one of those flies that they hold on to a little bit more. I don't know if it's the body or the way it rides in the water. I'm not liking the way that is rolling down. There we go. Here down your first rabbit strip, bring the other one over, tie that one down. And get those guys out of your way. they're on there good and tight. Bring your foam forward. I mentioned yes, do a little bit of drop some glue down the base in between the two and at the tails. Gotta go careful with the uh, GSP on the foam, otherwise it will cut right through. Give a little bit of glue in between there as well. Hold that together for a second. I'm gonna cut down a couple more legs real quick. I'm going to lift up the head. Sometimes I'll do a little bit of dubbing on, on the base here, but it doesn't really need, it's not necessary. I think the fish is mostly hitting on a profile that's moving through the water, something that's disturbing the surface and they're following it. So they're not really counting legs, they're not looking at the color, they're looking at something dark, something that's moving. 
And I'm going to trim these two right there. And a little bit on the back. There you go.